I was pretty sure when I posted part one that this abandoned asylum was haunted, but now, after reading your comments about this place and what I'm going to show you in this video, I know this place is truly cursed. Once you see what happened to me, I doubt you'll disagree. Welcome back to Operation Phoenix Rising, a multi-day airsoft ground war at this intense location. Our team is struggling. Having lost the intense battle for the rooftops, we're stuck slogging it out on the ground. Keep going, keep going. It's a losing battle, but even with minimal forces, we're determined to make an impact. Got him. Every time we gain some ground and get into the tunnels, it seems like there's always a group of enemy players that are content to just camp in the shadows. Clear. This is terrifying. Our main problem up until this point is that we were taking the obvious routes. Grenade, 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 grenade. This time, I'm taking a larger squad with me. With their help, we can take the first floor. From there, we can cut off their pushes and attack the tunnel campers from unexpected angles. You have a grenade? Yeah, I got it. You want to do it? Thank you. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's out. Here, we're good. Behind you. There ain't nothing back here. Honestly, there's nothing yeah, back here. No one else now. I can't really just take your word for it. You're going to see multiple examples of why we don't take the enemy's word for it when they say they're all dead. Moving forward carefully and checking our corners is extremely important. Yep. Don't let him see you. 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 Hey. Uh, so this is a, this is one of the ones that right they got. This guy right here. Yeah, they said if it pushes open without. Shut the We own the first floor. Now we can start cutting them off. I'm gonna go up. Keep watching that. I'll watch this way. We got somebody on the other side of that shrubbery there, too. Shut up, man! I'm shut up, man! Good shots, dude. You dead? No. Sorry. Oh, I'm gonna back up. Come 
Have you been revived yet? No. Fighting our way forward through a single doorway was a losing battle. So back in the tunnels, it's time to flush out the enemy that seems to be growing roots in there. Follow me. Dead ahead, dead ahead. Okay, okay, we, 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 we don't, just take your word for it. No, we shouldn't, sorry. I wish you... You guys dead? No, dude, no, come on, are you serious, bro? Hey, I hit him. You! Huh? I shot you, you kept shooting. Hey, shit. Are you holding it? What's that? Yeah. Hey, I, hey, I watch all your videos, man. Shut up, dude. You don't shit. I'm sorry, uh, this is where I hit my head in part one. The enemies regained ground on the outside thanks to their control of the rooftops, but now we're about to make them pay. I know where we are. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is beautiful. Hold on. They don't know we're here. They're all over. Fucking Grenade door downstairs. Oh. Woo! I thought it was like the Matrix right there. Coming around, coming around. We go around this way. You see him? You see one? Oh, watch it, Albans! No, soldier! Got him, sir! I got him, sir! Pull him, pull him! After respawning at base for my final attempt, I'll be moving with Alphonse through the corn so we can pop up deep behind enemy lines. Deeper, deeper.
Ten? Ten. Nice. <laughs> Ten. Oh, Rezia, sorry about that. Some green just came right out of here. That's what it was you guys, right? Uh, did, did they? Oh, that's because I hit them and then they said they were going to get in trouble, so they left. No, we're allowed to do this. That's what I thought. So far, so bad. Let's keep going. We are now way behind enemy lines. The goal right now is to not get spotted before we take our first shots. Let's go this way. Are you going to tile or drop These are some extremely long range engagements for airsoft, so this is going to put our guns to the test. From past experience, I know that my airsoft gun tops out at around 230 to 240 feet. At the, en at the engine. Nasty wind. Okay. Yeah, do you see that? Yeah. Wait, he's not calling that. He's not calling that. No. No, he's at the left tree. Left tree. Uh, straight ahead, Alphonse. 11 o'clock, Alphonse. Oh, that one hit him. I got him. Good. So I guess we were about 20 feet out of bounds here, so we moved back for them. Remember how I said that I have proof that this place is haunted? I'll lay out the details and you can be the judge. In five years of drone ownership and hundreds of flights, it was here at the asylum that my original and reliable drone, the Flying Dutchman, finally met its end after capturing the intro shots of this video. I catastrophically crashed it into the only pond of water within miles. It was a horribly expensive fail. If that was it, it could totally just be a bad coincidence. What's more valuable than a drone, you ask? My head. I bonked my head really hard in part one. Sure, another bad coincidence. Let's chalk it up to bad luck. Well, get this. The exact same two things, crashing my drone and smashing my head, happened at the very next reportedly haunted place that we visited, which is the abandoned factory. I bonked my head even harder there and crashed my brand new drone that I had to destroy my budget for as a replacement for this tour. Both haunted places, both smashed my head, both crashed my drone. At this point, it honestly feels like there's a haunted connection between these two places, they're not too far apart, and it's like they're working in tandem to try and shut me down. Also, the airsoft field that I visited between these two haunted places happened to be one of the worst airsoft experiences I've ever had in 16 years of airsoft, so subscribe if you want to see that. That's the next video, and I'll see you then. Have a good one.